You're recording. Oh. All right. Hello, everybody. This week, we will be creating a plate. So I want you to try to use as much of the surface area of the bat as you can. Um, plates are just a little bit different. Um, just because instead of having kind of the normal centering size shape that we usually have, we're gonna to want to be flatter and wider because we don't really pull up walls on plates because we don't have a need to, okay? Because plates are pretty flat. So, ooh, there we go. We are out of control with this clay. Scrape it to slip off. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Bumpy. All right, so how much we push kind of the surface area of our centering size is gonna be like about the face of the plate, not including the part that kind of cones up a little bit or curves up, I should say. So here I have the basic size for or whatever, centering about the height of my hand. So now I'm gonna be pushing down a lot more to kind of flatten this out and make it go wider. So you'll see, I'm gonna use some, a lot more of my hand and I might even be using some of my arms. So right now I'm really pushing down. My hand's getting dry. I'm really pushing down. I want this thing to be flatter and wider. air bubbles like crazy in here. Ugh. Using a mixture of all old clay and fresh clay, so probably should have wedged it better. Okay. I am very wobbly. Try to push it back here. Not to be that wobbly. Not having a good day. Uh, that wasn't good from the start. to record another video. I'll have to do it three times today because it's not saving. There we go. My hand keeps on sticking to the bat and bumping it. Jeez Louise, I guess it's good to show you a video because I do struggle too sometimes. Only not this bad, but. That's all right. Sometimes we just have bad days. All right, there we go. Okay, that, that's back to centered. Now, pushing down, make this thing flatter. I'm trying to go a little slower here. Oh, 
Why? Why? Just not having a good day. There we go. Okay, getting somewhere. There we go. All right. Okay, I still want to be a little flatter, so I'm going to kind of really push down here. All right. Just kind of pushing down to flatten out the face just a little bit. Make that part flatter. Middle keeps kind of forming a belly button. So you want the, the base of your plate, the face. Okay, this is where you would eat off of. You want that to try to be as flat as you can. You don't really want to have waves. Oh, what did I do again? Taking my sponge and smoothing it. There we go. All right. Flatten out the middle here. I'm just making sure there's no kind of bullseye target shapes going on. All right. So what I like to do is I like to have a little lip to my plate, just a little edge. So I'm kind of going to kind of like almost pull up on the side. It's like the tiniest pull because we don't have that much clay. I'm kind of really just pinching my fingers together, which pushes that clay up. You can see it almost creates a plate so your food's not just going to slide off the plate. Okay. You also want to make sure you don't push down too much on the bat so that you'll, you can trim a foot on it. I do think feet look best, look good on plates. So I want you guys to have a foot. Before I kind of do any more to that, I'm going to... Take this guy and kind of clean up the edge down there so I don't have as much to trim when I turn it upside down. Just kind of cleaning that up down there. Yeah, just clean up those chunky pieces of clay. All right, so there's different kinds of plates. Um, it should not just be flat though. Um, you do not want, I don't want to see something that your food would just kind of fly off of. So, let's smooth that out again. So I did do like a little teeny tiny pull. And just so now I kind of have a place where my food won't slide off. Um, so it's almost like a sh very short bowl. Um, some plates kind of come out and then have a flat part on the side. So if you kind of want that, look, let me get my hands wet and it's going to kind of flatten that side part out. There we go. All right. So I've created the plate. I'm going to let it get leather hard and then I will trim a foot on it. Now, being super careful to cut this off the bat because it's a much bigger surface area than you're probably used to. So, holding it tight and down, you are going to cut it all the way off. Oh, all right. So, I've cut it off. Let it get leather hard. And I really want to try to have this dry evenly, okay? Sometimes I see a lot of plates crack when people let them get too bone dry or dry when they're face up before turning them over. So you really want to catch that sweet spot so that you turn it upside down when it's leather hard so that it doesn't um, dry on you. Or, sorry, crack. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Sorry about this video, but uh, it's probably good to watch me struggle, too. I am human just like you. I have good days and bad, di bad dies. 
where sometimes I just have a hard time getting it centered. So good luck and can't wait to see you guys create. Gotta end this.